Hello and welcome to Opening Lines. I'm Tony T from TonySpicks.com. We're with you Monday through Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Then we'll live free sports picks. Well, for the following games, as we try and we as we give you winners against the opening numbers, so be sure to like and subscribe. And you want to set the notifications for this show because you know um, you want to make sure you bet into the best numbers as possible. And you can do that here by watching us live. Of course. Uh, we're with you, as we've said, 10 Eastern time, so be sure to check us out. Before we get started, just remind you a few things. Our promo code here for our video audience, you can save 20% off all our premium pick packages when you use the promo code TONY at checkout. You can access the page by clicking the link in the description below. Click the All Cappers tab, find your favorite capper, and get signed up. We also would like to hear from you, so post your picks in the comments below. All right, let's take a look at who's on the show here for tonight. With us tonight, Ramon Scott and Ben Ruhala. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get opening lines underway here uh, for a Tuesday night. Let's welcome Ben Ruhala over to the show. You'll find him over at TonySpace.com, where he's put up some really good numbers in Major League Baseball this season. So let's bring in Ben right now. We get ready to roll here. Ben, how you doing tonight? I'm doing well, Tony. How about yourself? Doing great. All right, here we go. Uh, Major League Baseball here for Wednesday features the Guardians and the White Sox. Yeah. So my pick here in the uh, Cleveland Guardians versus the Chicago White Sox game for Wednesday, May 11th, 2022, 2.10 10 p.m. Eastern time. We've got uh, Aaron Savelli, right-hander for the Guardians, and Vince Velasquez, uh, a right-hander for the White Sox, going at it. Uh, Savelli is 1-2 this year with a 9.45 ERA, 1.70 whip, and 22 Ks and 20 innings. Uh, to even compound that, uh, Savelli's ERA on the road is 12.19. Uh, Velasquez is 2-2 two two with a 3.97 ERA, a 1.37 whip, uh, 21 Ks and 22 innings. And actually, Velasquez pitching at home, his ERA is 2.51. Uh, and career-wise, he's about three runs better at home for whatever reason uh, than on the road. The White Sox, they've been playing better. They're seven and three in their last ten. The Guardians, they've been playing pretty well too. They're eight and two in their last ten, but they're eight and nine on the road. And right-handed batters are hitting 388 off from Sabelli. And the White Sox lineup. Although it's been a little bit inconsistent, it's getting a little better. Uh, Anderson, Makata, and Roberts are all batting over 400 against Savelli. So, therefore, the Guardians, I think, are going to be singing the classic ZZ Top song, Jesus Just Left to Chicago, because they're going home with a loss here. My pick here is the Chicago White Sox money line, uh, minus 130 or minus 140 I saw it as well. So, I think that's a good line that might shift even more to the White Sox side. All right, Ben Ruhala here says, Guardians, White Sox, take White Sox here, minus 130. Uh, do your shopping, get the best number. All right, let's continue on here on opening lines here. Join with Ben Ruhala. We'll go on to our next game here. We got the Rays facing the Angels. Yeah, so this one here, everybody will be watching. It's a Shohei Itani game. So we've got the Tampa Bay Rays versus the Los Angeles Angels uh, Wednesday at 7.07 .07 p.m. Uh, we have left-hander Shane McClanahan for the Rays. He's been pretty good this season. Uh, and Shohei Atani, of course, on the other side for the Angels. McClanahan, he's 2-2 two two with a 3.06 ERA, .99 whip, 47 Ks and 32 innings. Uh, McClan uh, McClanahan has given up five homers uh, on the season, three in his last two, so he's, he looks a little bit homer-prone. Um, left-handed hitters are hitting 278 against them. So we know who's uh, a big power bat on the left-handed side in that Angel lineup. Uh, Otani is 3-2 and two this year, 3.08 ERA, a 1.3 whip, 41 Ks, and 26 in the third innings. Uh, and Otani's ERA at home, even better, 2.79. Uh, there should be a lot of Ks in this one. Um, pretty exciting pitching matchup for sure. The uh, Angels are hitting left-handers at a 260 clip, which is almost 25 points higher than they are right-handed batters. So McClanahan being a lefty, I think that gives the edge to the Angels. The Rays are hitting worse against right-handed pitchers, which Otani is right-handed, 241 batting average versus 262, so almost 20 points lower against right-handed pitching. Uh, the Angels are at home where they're 11-6. and six. The Rays are pretty good on the road at nine and five, but they have lost their last two, and the Angels uh, have won their last two, obviously coming into tonight's game. Uh, therefore, 
I think the baseball world will be singing the Foo Fighters classic, There Goes My Hero, as we all seem to root for Otani. He's just the man. My pick here is the Los Angeles Angels money line minus 115. All right, Ben Wallace says here, uh, Rays and Angels this game on Wednesday. Take the Angels money line at minus the 115. All right, Ben, let's take a look over at Tony Spake Stock here for a Wednesday. Big card here on the board, all games, teams in action. Uh, 15 Major League Baseball games, a couple from the NBA, three from the ice. You're doing great work in MLB this season. 1,570 units of profit all documented. When you visit Ben's site, go down to Pick History, you'll see all the plays there. All right, Ben, what we have going on over, over at Tony's Picks? Yeah, so I'll definitely have a three pack. Put it out. I'll put it out tonight for the MLB. Uh, I might slide in a, a basketball playoff pick in there too as well. Uh, so again, been really playing a lot of MLB games. Uh, had a couple of rough stretches here the last couple of days, but I really like the card tomorrow. So uh, you know, it's time to get back on the, on the winning ways there. Uh, and again, if anybody jumps on a daily, seven day, monthly, season long with you know, with the discount and so forth, then I think they're going to get a great deal here on a lot of picks. So uh, that would be my recommendation. That's right, guys. Again, I'm going with Ben Rolla over at Tony'sPicks.com. You see the number is 1,570 units of profit for MLB for 2022, all documented over at the site. They'll have place for you for Major League Baseball. They'll be able to get some three packs, one day passes up there. Of course, the long term passes tonight for our live audience. That's your best value there. Uh, ben has a three, seven, or third day all sports pass where you get all of his premium plays for that period of time you select. We go over to his profile page and you make that purchase. Uh, of course, on that one month pass, that's all of Ben's premium plays for one month. That's all his baseball, NBA, of course, and, uh, Mitch, and uh, NHL. And of course, you can also uh, take advantage of that uh, promo code. Use promo code Tony T at checkout. You'll save $66 off that price, off that one month all sports pass. We'll also apply to a seven day pass if you go that route or even a one day pass. But uh, anyway, get on board, get signed up. You can access Ben's page by clicking the link in the description below. Click on the All Capers tab at the top, and you'll find his page and get signed up. All right, Ben, as always, uh, great having you on the show. Uh, continue that success. Uh, we'll talk with you tomorrow. Now, we've, uh, we've, we've noticed that we've got to your Twitter now. Uh, oh, it's called uh, Tony Speaks Ben. Awesome. Yeah. But, yep. So, the guys, check it out, and you'll be able to get uh, some more pricks from Ben there over on Twitter. Tony Speaks Ben is the candle. All right, Ben, have yourself a great evening, and we'll talk with you again uh, tomorrow. Yep, thank you. Talk to you later. You got it. Ben Rolla here on Opening Lines. Hey, we're here with Opening Lines on Monday through Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, let's continue on here for the show. Now it's time to welcome in uh, Ramon Scott. You'll find him over at Tony'sPicks.com where he does great work up there. So let's go ahead and bring up Ben in or uh, uh, Ramon in right now. I think we've got him ready to roll here. Ramon, how's it going tonight? Hey, real good, Tony. A lot of storylines developing, some exciting action tonight. Justin Verlander spinning a no-hitter. We just saw Toronto wrap up their game with Tampa Bay in a wild one. Great sports tonight. That's right. Yankees and uh, Blue and, and uh, Toronto in a wild game tonight as well. So some real good action today. They just pushed across two to take a 5-3 lead here, top of the eighth. So a lot of good action tonight. All right, Ramon, we're going to be looking at uh, a game here, your, your game for us to begin. Our segment here will be the Brewers and Reds. Yeah, Tony, got a couple of games I'm going to deal to you here in baseball, and i got to try to spin this one as best I can, Tony. Uh, the Brewers are going to be taking on the Reds in a matinee tomorrow. These guys have been pounding the ball, typical uh, Cincinnati-style games, uh, these teams totally going over right now, but I've got a shift in the time. It's going to be a, a day game tomorrow, and I'm trying to get Vladimir Gutierrez on track. He's 0-5, uh, just been downright woeful this year. It's not the Gutierrez that we were expecting to see uh, in his development, so uh, he needs to find a way to get on track, and I'm hoping he does it against the Milwaukee Brewers tomorrow. I'm looking at the total in this game, Tony. Uh, the Brewers, of course, are pretty big favorites, but the total is nine tomorrow, and that's the key for me uh, as the type of handicapper that I am, to put that nine up there uh, in a day game. Even in Cincinnati, I'm going to look to go under. I've got to try to get Gutierrez to find the form that he had uh, as a developing young talent. He did have three good starts against the Brewers last year. Now, he already has been roughed up 
by Milwaukee in one of his five starts. Uh, he's, he's been awful in all of his five starts, but in the three starts last year against uh, Milwaukee, 19 innings pitched, 15 hits allowed, five earned runs, 13 strikeouts, and he won two of those ball games. So I don't know if I can call for a Reds victory in this one, but I'm hoping that Gutierrez and the Reds can somewhat stay on track and uh, keep this one low. Now, Adrian Hauser, he's been pretty okay this year. 3-2, three and 3.42 the ERA. Uh, low ground ball rate, Tony's giving up fly balls, but they're not going out of the park. Uh, he's limiting the long ball, although the, the ground ball rate is just 44%. Now, uh, fifth uh, they scored 15 runs on Monday. They just pushed the total over uh, tonight when the Reds just picked up a couple of runs. It's 5-4 to four in the ninth inning. That gives the Brewers a run of like 9 of the last 10 to the over, and the Reds are 10 of the last 11 to the over. This is just a, uh, I don't want to, uh, you know, say it's a feel game or, or a guess. I really uh, just have a little bit of reform reversal. It has to happen for Gutierrez, and on a day game, I'm hoping to get some lineup shifts in there, but the trigger for me is the nine uh, as the type of handicapper that I am, so I'm going to buck all these trends, Tony, and uh, I'm not sure I can get anyone to agree with me and walk up to the window tomorrow, but I'm going under the nine in Milwaukee and Cincinnati in the day game at uh, Great American Ballpark. Day baseball in Cincinnati, uh, Ramon says Brewers Reds go under total of nine runs. All right, let's continue on here with opening lines here with Ramon Scott. Next up, Ramon, well, we're going back here to, with the, to the Big Apple here as the Blue Jays take on the Yankees. Yeah, and no, maybe I apologize a little bit. I could have, you know, almost ran my video back uh, from an earlier broadcast uh, on this one. We previewed the Blue Jays and the Yankees for tonight's game. You talked about uh, an exciting game, 5-3 to three now in the bottom of the eighth, uh, still staying under. And I'm looking at the total in this one with Jose Barrios. Uh, he's got 5.34 ERA, but a 2-1 and one record. He's been okay in the peripherals so far this year. Going up against Jamison Tyone. Uh, Tyone 2-1 and one with a 2.84 ERA, uh, 0.71 Walks per nine, 85% left on base uh, rate. Tyone has been a, good, a pretty good acquisition, I'd say, for the Yankees, uh, considering uh, his past. Uh, you know, maybe they were taking a chance and seeing if he could continue to uh, evolve as a as a frontline starting pitcher, and I think he's uh, done just that. If anything, he's even improved since coming over uh, to the Yankees. So, look, Tony mentioned it before this series. Like I said, I couldn't sell you on the Brewers and the Reds, and although uh, the Blue Jays and the Yankees going under does sound like a tough sell as well, uh, again, I ran off a series of numbers uh, why tonight's game might stay under. Now it's going to be close, but uh, uh, this series in general has just been a big time under uh, going into tonight. 11 of the last 14 at Yankee Stadium in this series had gone under, and the season series was 5-2 and two to the under so far this season, and 3-1 and one at Yankee Stadium when these two teams have met. Toronto already 11-18 and 18 to the under this season, while the Yankees have been 10-18 and 18 to the under, including 6-10 and 10 at home. Now, both teams are still struggling to hit over their last 10 games. They're both uh, hitting around a 225 or so. Uh, Yankees have been a little bit better over the last 10 games, but uh, these two teams are not necessarily uh, producing a lot of offense when it comes to playing each other. So with the Yankees bullpen just doing uh, outstanding of late, uh, came into tonight's game with a 1.38 ERA over the last 10, and the bullpen in general with an ERA uh, a little bit over 2.3. Three one. So uh, I have this one going under tomorrow. Tony, Blue Jays, and Yankees at the stadium. All right, Ramon Scott says Blue Jays and Yankees going under total a seven and a half runs. All right, Ramon, let's take a look over at TonySpicks.com here for a Wednesday. Big card here, 15 games in action here, three from hockey, two from the NBA, 3,250 units of profit as we began our show here. Last 30 days, all documented. You can verify that over at TonySpace.com, over at Ramon's profile page, handicapper page. Go down to the pick history. You'll see every play there. Ramon, let us know what you'll have over at the site. Well, Tony, we're definitely going to be looking at the NBA playoffs, where tonight I brought home my sixth straight winner in the NBA playoffs. And on a 
a complete roll right now. They're mostly all totals. So uh, talk about handicapping, right? I mean, I'm pretty much nailing every single total in the NBA. A lot of people say, uh, say why, I, why, why do my cards contain so many totals? Well, to me, uh, pace is often the most predictable outcome in a sporting event. Uh, sometimes you cannot uh, necessarily project a winner, especially in the playoffs, but you can uh, dictate the tempo. So I'll be looking definitely at the NBA to keep this rolling. You want to sweat along with Ramon tonight. Uh, we do have a late play on the, on the Phoenix and Dallas game. We went over, so sweat along with Ramon and then get on board tomorrow. Just check out what I've been doing in the NBA over 2,100 units this season and absolutely crushing in the playoffs. NHL action tomorrow also, Tony. I've got to find a formula in baseball uh, only came up with one play on today's card uh, in the premiums uh, so I'm going to be studying heavy and trying to you know maybe expand that a little bit with that big card tomorrow and uh, uh, also Tony just looking forward possibly some soccer possibly some tennis as we keep the winning rolling right now but most of my concern uh, is going to be in that NBA that's where that's where my uh, the, the subscribers seem to be headed. <laughs> you know, I guess that's how this how it works in this business. So I'm getting a lot of uh, traction in my NBA selections uh, on the paid subscriptions, the paid packages. So definitely going to keep it rolling right there. I, I think I already know where I'm heading with tomorrow's game. So make sure you get on board. Yeah, guys, get on board. Everyone's got over at TonySpace.com. You see the numbers here. 3,250 years of profit. Last 30 days, all documented. Uh, pay a visit to the site. Uh, Ramon will have clicks for me from the NBA as well as uh, baseball. Long-term passes right now for our live audience. You might want to consider here. This is your best value here. You want to give up Ramon a try for three days. He does have a three-day all-sports pass. Uh, get his major uh, plays here, his premium plays here for three days over at the site. If you like a little longer than that, he, he has a seven-day and as well as a third-day all-sports pass where you can uh, get all of his plays. MLB, NBA, and hockey. Of course, the NBA will take you right to the uh, right around the middle of the NBA finals there, and of course uh, the NHL. Uh, one month of NHL playoffs, and of course one month of baseball. So good time to get on board with that one month pass. You can save six six dollars off that uh, off that pass as well as any pass. You'll save twenty percent off. Uh, we're doing the math here on three tw on three thirty less twenty percent. You can do that by getting using the promo code Tony T at checkout. We'll save you twenty percent off all premium pick packages. Could be one day passes, could be season passes. All the passes twenty percent off when you use the promo code. You can access uh, Ramon's page by clicking the link in the description below. Click the All Cavers tab at the top and get signed up. All right, Ramon is always that uh, great having you on the show. Continue that success. And I know uh, we've been uh, posting. You've been posting some, some plays up there over on your own Twitter account here. Tony's picks Ramon. Yeah, it's another place to get more picks from all the crew at Tony's Picks. Just go to Tony's Picks, followed by the first name of all of our cappers. Uh, you might know them all by now. If you don't, go to Tony'sPicks.com and uh, check out what they have. But also you can uh, follow along on Twitter with one or two extra plays each day. You get all these video plays. You get all the write-ups on Tony'sPicks.com. Here's another way to get more plays from us on our social media. We're trying to build up the following, so please, please follow. If you're active on Twitter, uh, give us a follow. You're going to get uh, free picks on your timeline each and every day. The more cappers you follow from Tony's Picks, the more free picks you're going to get. That's right. So uh, be sure to follow Ramon, Tony's Picks, Ramon, right there. And, of course, get signed up to one of his long-term passes. That's the best value right now over at TonySpace.com. Click the link below and get signed up. Right, Ramon, great having your show. Continue that success, and we'll talk with you again tomorrow. I appreciate all you do. You got it. Ramon Scott here on Opening Lines. Hey, we're here with Opening Lines Monday through Friday at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure you like and subscribe. And, of course, you want to make sure you set those notifications because when we're live, well, you want to watch this live and get the best numbers. One reminder, we're back again tomorrow with opening lines. Also, our afternoon show at 3 Eastern time is Game game Day Picks. We bring in our cappers from Tony'sPicks.com, deliver live free picks for the games there uh, for that day. So tune in to Game Day Picks live at 3 p.m. Eastern time uh, and get those winners, of course. And, of course, we'll be back again that later that night with opening lines. All right, let's continue on here with the show. Uh, now it's time for my pick. We're going to go over to the NBA tonight. And we'll be looking at this one here between the Milwaukee Bucks and, I'm not, sorry, we'll be looking at the one here between the Golden State Warriors and the Memphis Grizzlies. And we're going to go under the total here of 220 and a half. Uh, Godala Payton out for the Warriors. Adam Aldama and Tilly out for Memphis. Morant questionable. 
Of course, Warriors get the win in game four, 101.98. The game fell well below the total here, finishes at 199. Grizzly shot just 42%, 9 of 35 from three. Warriors not a really good shooting uh, game as well. 40%, 9 of 37 from three. Now, Morant's status is in question due to that in injury. And, of course, there's been news traveling now that uh, could be possible that uh, Morant could miss the remainder of the playoffs. Could be one game if they lose, but it could be more than that if they continue on, if they continue forward in their series. Uh, you know, and, of course, it's a knee injury. You always got to worry about that. Uh, you know, but let's look here. Let's look here at the Grizzlies' numbers here. Morant's absence. There was a stretch from late November to late December, and of course, the, it, without Morant, the Grizzlies averaged 113 points per 100 possessions, but they gave up just 98 per 100. There was also a stretch when Morant missed in mid-March, early April. The uh, Grizzlies averaged 118 points per 100 possessions, allowed 106 per 100. I don't expect to see the, these offensive numbers against the Warriors, but the defense will hold up. Now, John Morant's knee injury was serious enough for him to sit out game four. That is not a good sign for Morant's effectiveness should he return to the lineup because the knee takes a while to heal properly. And of course, all indications are he may not even play the remainder of the playoffs. So there's a lot of that out there right now. But either way, we saw we saw the uh, Grizzlies without Morant on the court. And we, we saw the big man down the middle, Adams. And uh, he's a force down there. And, uh, you know, I think it, it will improve the perimeter defense over the Grizzlies. Well, we saw the numbers show you the Grizzlies are a good defensive team without Morant in the lineup. We're going to go Golden State Memphis under total of 220 and a half. All right, guys, be sure to visit Tony'sPicks.com for my best bets here. I'll have my best bets here for you on on uh, Wednesday. My, I'll have two best bets from baseball matched up here with a best bet from NBA. Headed in tonight, I've been really doing great work here, approaching 1,000 units in profit in MLB this season. So good time to get on board. Also, with my long-term passes, my 3, 7, 30 hour sports pass, check it out and get signed up. We can save you some money when you use a promo code TONYT at checkout. Uh, that will save you uh, 20% off. You can access my page by clicking the link in the description below. Click the All Cappers tab and then go ahead and get signed up. All right. Uh, let's see here. I wanted to check out something really quick before I went to the screen. I think we're ready to show this. All right. Here we go. Let's continue on here. with uh, Before we get to the recap reminder, you can follow me on Twitter here at Tony's Picks. All right. Now it's time for the recap. So let's go ahead and recap the plays from today's show. All right, we got started here with Ben. Ben was on the White Sox money line, minus 130 against the Guardians. And he came in with the Angels money line, minus 115 against the Rays. Ramon, Brewers, Reds under nine. And he comes in with Blue Jays, Yankees under seven and a half. And you're surely here, Warriors and Grizzlies to go under total of 220 and a half. All right, this will do it here for this edition of Opening Lines. Be sure to tune in again tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Eastern time. We'll do it all over again. We'll bring in our cappers here from Tony'sPicks.com and we'll deliver those free picks for you for the Thursday games when you tune in tomorrow night at 10 Eastern time. Don't forget our afternoon show at 3 Eastern time. It's game day picks. All right, let's go. Let's bring in the crew from tonight. We have a good night to you guys. Have yourself a great night. We'll talk with you guys again tomorrow night live at 10 Eastern time with opening lines.